It's very heavy, yeah. Thank you very much. When you look at the map of Africa, you see all these huge countries like Algeria, Ethiopia or South Africa. What is harder to see is the Gambia, the smallest country of continental Africa. Looking at the shape of this tiny West African country, an insane idea popped into my head. We begin our journey in the Gambia's capital, Banjul. We took a ferry to the town of Bara, where we had to take a local bus to travel further into central Gambia, where I wanted to execute this crazy idea. We are at a local bus to the town of Farafeni should take around four hours. You cannot imagine how hot and humid it is right now. We're just sweating. I think I'm getting dizzy. But I really hope this is gonna be worth it because the plan I have in Farafeni, I honestly think nobody did what I'm gonna do. I wanted to record the countryside, but it's not possible. <laughs> So, we are in Farafeni. Do you have a room with mosquito net? Uh, no, we don't have mosquito net. Is there any place in Farafeni that has mosquito nets? AMRC. 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 We definitely need a room with mosquito nets. It's too dangerous to sleep without a mosquito net. Trying to find the AMRC hotel. AMRC guest house. So, I think it's time to finally tell you what I'm doing here in the town of Farafeni. You see, Gambia is the smallest country of continental Africa. It is completely surrounded by Senegal and it's quite wide but it's very, very narrow. The narrowest point is only 24 kilometers long. It starts at the northern Gambia and Senegalese borders, then goes through the town of Farafeni, then it crosses the river Gambia, then it crosses the village of Soma, and at the end it reaches the southern Gambia and Senegalese borders. I have no idea how to cross the river and I don't know if it's possible to run this route during the rainy season but I'm gonna try it. This is going to kill us today. That looks so unstable. <laughs> is this fucking safe? After nearly getting killed by the ceiling fan, it was time for a little sightseeing in this sleepy little town. The people didn't understand what we were doing there, but they were very friendly anyway. After trying the local cuisine, we stumbled upon a very important road sign. This is exactly what I needed. Thanks to this, I'll know my directions tomorrow, because I'm starting at the Senegalese border, then I need to go to Farafeni, then I'm going to cross the river Gambia, which is not here, but let's, let's suppose it is here. Then I have to go to the village of Soma, and after that, I'll go to the southern Senegalese borders. The plan was clear, the expectations were high and the day was over. Tough day. I was just told that the taxi driver that was supposed to take me to the border is in another town, so I need to find a taxi in the morning. Not sure how. The craziest thing of my life starts in six hours. See you tomorrow. 
So, I woke up at 4 a.m. with a stomach ache. I had a diarrhea. I canceled my alarm clock. It's 11 a.m. and I'm still suffering. I'm having stomach ache. I'm not hungry at all. I feel kind of weak, but I need to do the running. Even if it's just walking, I need to do it tomorrow. So, today I'll just rest. I'll try to eat something, I'll try to keep it inside me. And no matter what, I'm doing the f***ing running tomorrow. I'm doing it. I still feel like I may sh my pants every second. I'm still having stomach ache, but I gotta do the run today. It's now or never. This is probably the most interesting, most bizarre, and also craziest idea of my life. <sighs> Regarding my health conditions, this may also be the worst idea of my life. Also, I will not be bringing this huge camera with me and I'll be recording everything on my phone. The first thing I have to do is find a taxi that would take me to the Gambia and Senegalese borders. There's nobody on the streets, it's so, so strange. The streets are really crowded every single day, every night, but now there is just no one. I need to get to the border. Yes, the Senegalese border. single person at the border is staring at me as if I was absolutely crazy. <laughs> so this is the border. I think I will not be filming anymore at the border. The police officers may have problems with that, so I should get going. Excuse me? How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Fine. I'm going to run from this border to the southern border. So what are you doing? Are you doing the what? Uh, just my running. So what is this? This is a phone. I'm so lucky not to be arrested right now. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Farafani. <sighs> bye bye, Farafani. Moving on. I guess that reaching the ferry services is what I needed. Excuse me, how can I get to the ferry? Ferry. Do you, do you speak English? Running again, and the unpaved road begins. Woo. Ooh, I can already see the little harbor in the distance. Almost 10 kilometers. I just bought the ticket for the ferry. I'm here. All right, we're halfway there. Let's make the second half quick and painless before the heat kills me. There is absolutely no shadow and the heat is extreme. Whew. Oh my god. Gambia, Gambia. You're gonna kill me today. Oh. No more videos until the village of Soma because I have only 20% of the battery left and I need the phone in case something unexpected happens. There is a chance that I will pass out so that's why I need the phone. Anyway, 10 minutes of rest and then straight to the village of Soma and to the borders. Hey! Hey, 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 Hi, Mamadou. Hi, how are you doing? 
I'm 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 doing great. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Uh, so Mamadou, do you still have the the phone? Yeah. Okay. So if I send you the money, I send you the money today. Okay. So you will fix the phone and then you will send me the video. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. I will send it later today. Bye bye. Four kilometers shy of the border, my cell phone died. Not sure whether it was the battery or the heat, but once I arrived at the border, I couldn't film to prove I was there. Luckily, a young man named Mamadou gave me his cell phone to film the proof and he promised to send me the five second video. He didn't send it though, he claimed the phone broke, so we agreed I would send him money for the repair. And yesterday, Mamadou wrote to me that he sold the phone a long time ago and I should keep the money. So I don't have a proof that I'm the only person in the world who ran through the entirety of Gambia in three hours.